Tau tēnei rā, ki a whakaātū he huinga, ka nohi ki te ka nohi e ki ake ana. Me mahi tahi ai te tangata, me noho kaihua, hei ka hurangi mārie. Me pūmau te koa, wāhanga fō o te fō, e rangatira, me tana akonga, i te reo pākeha. Warning, sensitive images. Peace for Ukraine or Ukraine. So I don't know when the humans will wake up and take the medicine, the simple medicine. My God, anything you eat, any vegetable, anything from the vegetable kingdom, even one single thing, is enough to sustain you. Yes, master. Yes, master. A lot of nutrition. I talked about that before, already, but I can say it again. All the vegetables carry enough nutrition for you to live comfortably, healthily, and intelligently. Then there will not be the need for any medicine. Humans are damaging their DNA and making themselves weaker and weaker and less and less resistant to the attack in the air. Yes, right. yes, master. yes master. <sighs> so, I hope the heaven will be lenient. I mean, good heaven, highest heaven, to give us more leniency or at least give me some solution, no matter what I'll do. I don't have any at the moment. Oh. Yes, Master. We hope so. Okay, my love. Anything else? N- no, master. no, Master. We hope we still can get through this time. You what? Uh, we hope we can get through, through this, this hard time, Master. I do hope also, because some good positive uh, force representative also told me, don't lose your hope to save your world. I'm still waiting for this solution and anything else I can do but at the moment no okay if there's something I tell you or maybe I won't be allowed to tell you but if you see the world getting better and has less disaster or more people become vegan then you know I have had a solution but I was not allowed to tell you yes, yes, yes master. Master. Mm. but even then uh, it's a thankless job if the world goes down then more people die nobody can say anything and they may say, oh, Master Jing Hai was right. What for? I want to be right. Okay, I don't want to be right. And if everything goes smoothly and we have peace and <coughs> vegan and the world doesn't explode, and then they would think, oh, well, Master Jing Hai told lies. See, nothing happened to us. We're okay. So I'm just fed up to tell anything. Yes, I'm just saying, Master. I just have to tell you because I have disciples. I have to care for them. I have to be responsible. That's all. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. Otherwise, I didn't even want to say anything because whatever I say, they can uh, twist it or explain it in a different way. And I'm the only one that loses. Understand, Master. Yes, Master. Understand. Uh, whatever happens, <laughs> I'm just a loser in their explanation, their opinion. Doesn't matter. We we never need to win or anything. I just hope the world will get better and everybody has peace and love. That's all. Okay. Yes, we hope yes, so. Master. We hope so. Yeah. Thank you for everything that you're doing for the world. We still have to try. And the thing is, I'm still having hope. I'm praying that I can keep that hope alive. But you see, even if heaven allows me to have a solution to save the world. I need, I truly need humans' cooperation. They have to be vegan. They have to make peace. They can't continue to make war and then expect peace. You hear what I'm saying? Yes, yes master. master. As we saw, so shall we read. You cannot just make war and expect peace. Even if I have a solution, humans have to give me assistance, help, and cooperation. Otherwise, it might not work. Understand, Master. It might happen that I, maybe with heavens, 
assistance and God's blessing can save maybe a couple of, or maybe several areas or several countries, areas, but it's not possible to save everyone and the whole planet. If the earth busts out, you know, even if just in some specific place and not the whole world, not the whole earth busts out, still we will not be able to recover quickly. And the world people still continue to kill animal people and torture them in such a oh, devilish way. Almost every chick's life begins with the removal of part of the upper beak. Putting a sow in a narrow cage where she can't even turn around, chaining a cow, it's all forbidden. This is actually a clear violation of the Animal Welfare Act, which prohibits mutilation. There's a specific paragraph that states this clearly. You're not allowed to cut off testicles, cut off tails, cut off ears, grind off teeth, cut off the beak. Yet it's done again and again. There are millions of exemptions. The suffering that we inflict on animals, we can't even imagine it. Not in our worst fantasies, not in the most horrific horror movie. Just since you tuned in, 9,200 cattle have been killed on the planet. Every second, nine more are added. In the same amount of time, 19,400 turkeys, 33,300 sheep and goats, 42,200 pigs, 105,000 ducks and 2.3 million chickens have been slaughtered, all in the last 16 minutes and 41 seconds. If we stacked on top of one another all the animals we kill and eat in a year, we would reach the moon and back 40 times. Fish die in such large numbers that we only measure them in tons. It's one of the biggest, if not the biggest, moral problem of our time. Nine out of ten people in Europe eat meat. This problem has in itself the solution to many other problems. To satisfy the world's appetite for meat, we have created a gigantic global industry. We kill and eat more animals in a year than the number of human beings who have ever lived on the planet from whenever we crawled out of the swamps. With devastating consequences for the Earth's ecosystem, and for billions of living beings. So how will they get permanent peace and lasting happiness on Earth? Do you hear what I'm saying? Yes, Master. Yes, master. So don't keep asking me, uh, do you have any good news? Does Master have any solution? How can you not save the planet? Maybe I can, but just uh, this lifetime and even the next lifetime, they continue to do all these uh, cruel things. To each other and to the animal people, then they will never have peace. Then sooner or later, the world will be kaput again. The, the earth will bust again. Will explode again. The way they told me. Understand, master. They say the earth will be swollen and explode in the lava. I forgot the word they say, but it means lava. It's like a melting stone. Huh? What else? It's a melt melting stone. The melting stone and the melting metal from the Earth's inner parts will, will explode all over the world and all over the planet. And where would you go? Yes, yes, yes master. master. It will destroy everything in an instant. It's not just like one or two volcanoes. Now we can forget the volcano. It's just a small stuff compared to the things that will come from the whole Earth. Wow. When the Earth... Uh, core inside and the inner side of the earth will explode and all the lava, the same light from the volcano will flow out everywhere. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And now even the whole of Asia has a lot of trouble with water already. Everywhere we have been trouble with water. Just some lucky areas don't have trouble. But the earth is drying up already. I guess it's not just climate change. It is the Earth's heating system coming out nearer, nearer to the surface. Understand. Understand. And then something maybe is already broken under, underneath the Earth's crust. So the water from the rivers and the lakes also runs down into this uh, molten rock. So metal, like 10,000 degrees Celsius heat, and then it will be nothing, you know?
the water goes down there and becomes just nothing. Yes, yes master. master. And uh, the scientists just discover recently that the Earth's molten rocks or metal come nearer and nearer to the Earth's crust. They just discover that, maybe just in one place, but they cannot discover every place. And maybe in some other place, it's already too near to our surface. You hear the, the urgency of the situation, yeah? Yes, yes, master. So don't keep asking me, calling me, telling me to save the planet. I would if I can. But, you know, it's teamwork between myself, the heavens, and the earthling people, they don't do anything to help me. Just like a doctor cannot help the patient if they don't take the advice, if they don't take the medicine prescribed to them. Understand. Yes, master. master. And then they wait until their sickness already became very grave, very serious. Then they had to go for an operation. An operation may work even then if the patient cooperates with the doctor. But in some cases, when it's too serious already, an operation is impossible and is even dangerous. Yes, yes master. master. Yes. Is the example clear to you? Yes, yes master. master. Can you hear me still? Hello? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, master. Is the doctor patient example clear to you? Yes. Yes, master. Yes, master. Yes. All right. Any other question that you want? No, master. No, master. All right. All the scripts, if I don't receive them on time, you just have to, uh, okay, whatever, whatever they do. Yes, master. If I don't receive, then I don't receive. You just have to pray well, have to reread what they are writing in case there's anything you doubt. Then you write it down, you note it down what you are doubting, where is it not uh, according to your liking or your trust, then you note it all down. When I call you, you tell me all that, okay? Where they, where they delete, where they don't, but you think should delete, etc., etc. Is that bad? Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Hello, can you hear me well? Yes. Yes, Master. Yes, master. Yeah. I keep moving. I have just a very small room. Well, it's big enough. It's just, <laughs> it's just there are things. Uh, uh, there's no place for me to put things in the cupboard or anywhere. And I have to walk around the big bed to find uh, the place that I can telephone, uh, that I can have a good reception for uh, you. Understand. But even then, sometimes it doesn't work. The room is about two by two. Huh? <laughs> so where where can I even find a good uh, spot to be uh, permanent? Mm. Yes, understand, yes, master. master. Don't envy the big bed because I don't sleep on people's bed. I don't sleep on the internet. So I sleep in the sleeping bag on the floor because I don't have anywhere to put my things. So I put everything on the bed. This is also very good. I can see everything clearly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to open one drawer after another to find my things, which is a good thing, you know? But don't envy, okay? <laughs> yes, master. <laughs> yes, master. I'm not on that big, beautiful, comfortable bed. It's beautiful, big, and comfortable, you know, like a double bed. <laughs> Queen size bed, or whatever you call it. Just to let you know, in case you envy me. Huh? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If you have no more questions, then uh, please uh, send the, the work to be done. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. If I have internet, I will let you know, of course. Yes. Okay, Master. Okay, my love. Thank you. Even though it's desperate, thank you for still trying. Thank you, Master, thank for you, master. trying all the time. Thank you. Love you and talk to you maybe next time again. Okay? Thank you. Thank you, yes, master. master. Thank you, Master. Love you, Master. Love you, Master. God bless. God love. God protect you. Mm? Okay? Yes, master. Thank, you, master. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. God bless, Master. Ciao. Ciao, my love. Ciao, Ciao master. master.